Let's go for a spin in a Jaguar F Type Coupe. So we play with the gearbox, and uh, you can hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to chuck it down to second gear, on and off the throttle. You get the awesome sound from the exhaust pipe. I better speed up, there are other people coming. Right, it stopped being a hooligan. There's the window. This is the 3 litre V6S. It's got a supercharger, 380 horsepower, 336 foot pound of torque, I think. Uh, does not 60 in 4.8 seconds, costs 60,000 pounds. This one, uh, it costs 73,000 pounds. It's got quite a few options. Uh, one of which is the panoramic roof. One of which is the black pack, which is instead of chrome bits on the outside, you've got all sorts of gloss black. It looks really good, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, it's got 20 inch tornado black wheels, which look fantastic. Right, there's no one behind me. Let's have a bit more engine sound. So we're in sixth gear. Let's go down to fourth. We're doing 45 miles an hour. Good, eh? Right, pull over. And take a look on the uh, on the outside. The interior of this thing is the same as the convertible, which is to say, brilliant leather everything. It's like being on the inside of an inside out cow. Everything is leather or graphite or gloss black which is not my favourite colour scheme uh, material but uh, it does look awesome. So let's have a little private road here. Let's just trail it in first gear. take a look on the outside. So we've uh, stopped, we'll have a look at the car. This is the start stop button. Very, very dramatic. And here we go, this thing, the vent starts to come up from the dash. It's, it's great looking on the inside. Look, leather, leather, leather. The seats are made by Leah for Jaguar. They're supplied by Leah as in Leah, who make the aeroplanes. The interior is the same as the cabriolet, aside from the roof. And this one gets the optional panoramic roof. I'm gonna turn the engine off so you can stop beeping. And it's all very rather plush, really. It's not a lot of room. You've got a sort of like bin for things there. Then you've got the hatchback at the back. We'll open the boot in a tick. Your seats are multi-adjustable. Very comfortable. The only places to put things really are the glove box. Over there, got a thing here, follow my junk. Thing here, cup holders and other things. Door pockets. It's a great car to drive. Really very good. The aluminium chassis makes it very agile on the road. 1600 kilos, so it's not that light, but it's got plenty of power. But it does handle exceptionally well. Um, I've driven the V8 uh, Cabriolet, not the V8 Coupe. That's a lot more powerful. It's got 120 more horsepower than this. But this, the chassis is matched with the engine in the V6S yes, a little bit more. It's this side of a 911 or a Cayman or a Boxster. Nothing else can touch it. And this is slightly more comfortable, slightly prettier than the Porsches. I thought the Porsches are slightly more hardcore. And uh, you know what? If you're going to choose between the two, it comes down to a matter of personal philosophy and what you think of the companies, really. But this thing is a great drive. You will not be disappointed at all with the Jaguar F-Type. V6 S Coupe.